couldn't say it enough. I think there's a quote in the Bible that says, never tire of doing the right thing. Uh, and I'm, I'm hoping I never do tire of doing it. We're all the ladder start in the foul rag and bone shop of the heart. And I thought a lot about that line as I walked around looking at this, not just because of its title, My Savage Heart, but also because of the amount of times the heart shape is repeated throughout the exhibition, sometimes very subtly and sometimes in places you don't expect. And then there was another uh, quote that I thought might sum up what I, my response to this, and it's only my response, it's not necessarily the most important response, 
and, and the heart is full of answers for which there's no questions. And I would think, looking at this and, have, and being really knocked out, I think particularly everybody's been talking about this one here, uh, because we've all had our heart broken on Valentine's Day, uh, or discovered that we had a heart on Valentine's Day, is that I would think that my response is that the heart in Harriet's work has a lot of thought in it, a lot of thinking in it, and she doesn't accept very easily that the heart has answers. She questions the heart's answers and says, they're not that easy. I don't want to answer that simply. It isn't that easy. And I think all of our thoughts and ideas are full of our heart. Like, at times when you look at quite uh, simple things, like she has a simple depiction of a house down there, there's an awful lot of emotion and romance coming up through, uh, innocently, through the domestic picture. And I think that that's a very exciting thing about her work. There's a lot of conflict in it, a lot of questioning in it, uh, very few answers in it. And I think that, that that's what's really exciting. And I've watched people now over the last couple of days, uh, and the great thing about access is it could be somebody going to a dance class, it could be somebody who come a cup of tea, it could be somebody who came to the exhibition, walking slowly down, like, and having different feelings as they went through the paintings. And that's what it's about. It's about having your feelings. When, well, anyway, it is for me when I look at the picture. And I'd like to, to really welcome Harriet's first exhibition here at Access, to hope it's going to be many, many more exhibitions. Uh, to say that it's going to be here for a month, and I know people are going to buy them because they're far too cheap, right? And uh, that you walk away with some money because that's a very important part of working as an artist to be supported, you know, by by your work. And I'd like to introduce, you know, the uh, maitre d of the visual arts scene in in Ballymun, Mr. Paddy Cameron. Thanks very much, Ray, uh, for all your kind words <coughs> and for stealing all the lines. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to bring over Harriet. I asked Harriet what I could say or what she wished me to say, but Harriet said I think it would be nice if uh, we had a little talk. Maybe you could bring up some subjects that I'd be willing to talk about. And sure enough, I have a few things and a few ideas that I would like to to Harriet, and maybe she might answer, or then maybe she might not answer. And one of the first things I had, which was when I was downstairs writing my little notes yesterday, was said, the title of your exhibition is My Savage Heart, and you responded, yes, my savage heart, you said. So maybe would you like to expand on that? Maybe you could, and give us a little bit of it. Yeah, okay, I mean, um, it could, you know, sorry. I mean, <clears throat> you know, a person can be savage, uh, or a heart can be savage, and uh, a heart can be savaged as well. But I thought if I leave it at my savage heart, that makes me sound like a doormat. So. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think my savage heart is better. <laughs> With room to maneuver, is that right? Yes. Yeah, and you have expressed that very well in your painting. So we move on a bit then. And, uh, you, you did expressly say to me, don't ask me anything about where I go or what I do, because what I do is private. Did you say that to me? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ask you that now. Tell us about your experiences, about your travel, and how that has informed your work. Yeah, that's a bit of a noise, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, um, I... Uh, <clears throat> I think I've, uh, I've always been very attracted to uh, uh, reflections, you know, to, 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 to sun, to shadow, to reflections on water, um, things that you can't really explain but that, that just strike you as being beautiful. And uh, for, for a big part of my life I, I didn't know how to I say, put these things into words, but I mean, uh, what I mean is, for, for a big part of my life, I didn't know how to, to, to visualize that, to actually paint that, you know? And I still don't know, really. But I, when I did this, I've been working on this for one and a half years. Uh, I, was, I was kind of going back into my own head. But I learned, going through this one and a half years, that all the things I've learned in my life, which is like, you know, I'm nearly half a century on this planet now, yeah. that everything I, that I've learned... You nearly as old as me? Yes, <laughs> everything I've learned, nearly. <laughs> everything I've 
everything that I, that I've learned visually somehow got back into my art. You know, so there was a, a, a synth synthesis. The synthesis is, is what the uh, it's what the architect it's what the architects call a synthesis of elemental data. That's actually what they call it the top of the sheet, which uses a synthesis of lights and places where you've been, and so that has deeply affected the world. Has any particular place now? What you might like to say, it seems as how you've been living in here in Ballymun, and we've known you for a number of good years, and you have exhibit, exhibited with other artists here in the area. Is there anything in particular here, or could you point to some of the areas here, uh, coloration or painting, that you would feel more responds to the area of Ballymun and your situation here? than anywhere else. <coughs> um, <coughs> well, there's, there's three figurative paintings uh, just right there in the middle. You know, there's three figurative paintings right there in the middle, and they, they reflect that one, basically, and they reflect the, the transition as well, especially the one on the, on the right-hand side, you know, Paul, Mind the Gap, and as, as I'm explaining to Barbara Jones from the FM, there is, there is a lot in it. I mean, Paul, this guy that everybody sees around the long hair, you know, he represents the body mode. He represents the <coughs> mundaneness and the eccentricness. Of That's the that. professor of the man center, is it? <laughs> yes. That's part of the other one. He reflects that. He, he symbolizes body mode for me in lots of yeah. ways. And then, of course, he's, he's welcoming people to the, to, the, to the demolition, you know. And then, right. mind the gap is a bit of a sort of ironic uh, title. Uh, I, I got this actually, yeah. all, this, all of this into, into that painting. Personally, I do like these three months a lot, actually. And what I also like that that <coughs> neither the abstracts nor the, the figurative ones, there's no great, um, what should we call it, uh, schism between them. I mean, uh, I especially, I have to say also the way Axis has presented it, it's uh, it's really absolutely brilliant. I mean, the, the way they hang together, you know, in groups of colors. Yes, a lot of people have it's commented on that. It's, it's very, very, you know, it really is very satisfactory. Yeah, yeah. Um, just one last question, then, I'd like to put to you. Is the medium in which you paint, uh, I think most of the stuff you do is acrylic, yeah. Yeah. but is that a favourite medium that you wish to do? Or yeah, I, 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 I very much prefer acrylics because um, I suppose I'm a quick worker and I. I I, I can't really work with oil. I, I don't like it that much, you know. And uh, uh, some of them are, have been overpainted. Some have like, literally layers of about 10, 20 paintings, of which I still have the photos, which are on my website, you know. But some of them I have like repainted millions of times. But acrylics is, 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 fav is a favorite of mine. But these ones here, you know, the, uh, the stone paintings, uh, they are something that I had never done before, and I'm, I'm extremely pleased with that. Very effective, So finally, could you could we ask you where do you see yourself going from here uh, in relation to your work? I know that uh, you're not going to get up and go any time at any minute of the day, but in relation to your work, where would you like? Where would, where do you see yourself, or where would you see yourself next year? And what would you like to do? Or what would you like to continue doing? Thanks very much for asking this, um, because this has been such an important exhibition for me because it's different obviously having your, your own solo exhibition and um, in, in lots of ways I was trying to put you know, my entire lifetime's philosophy in it, uh, everything I think, everything I've learned visually, you know, philosophically and so on and so on, that uh, even up to this day I was coming into this thinking, oh, I mean, I left out, you know, 50%, you know, still half of all the things that I wanted to say, you know. Um, so I, I still have a lot more to say. And actually, if anybody looks at my, uh, what should we call it, uh, drawings there, you know, that's just, for instance, another aspect of mine that, that, that is huge, you know, that I haven't actually been extended yet. So you're going now. Yeah. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.